Hey man, y'all are doing so good. Welcome back. It's Algebra 1 again. We're talking about literal equations today. That is equations, oh we don't like these, that have more than one variable and too many variables, right? We're asked to solve for only one of the variables. This one we're going to solve for C. Over here we're going to solve for that E. Over here we'll solve for M. And then over here we're going to solve for U. What does that mean, solve for? Solve for C, solve for E, what does that mean? All that means is get that variable that they're asking us to solve for all by himself, right? We want to get everything else on the other side of the equation where we have C equals something else, okay? Now, it doesn't always have to equal a number. It can equal an expression or it can equal uh, something in terms of two other variables, and that's what we're going to do here. Let's, let's see how... The exact same rules apply that we've been using the whole time. Distributive properties, um, what you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other. Um, dividing by fractions is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. You know, all those rules are still going to apply to these. Let's see if we can use those techniques and solve this. Just because it doesn't have a number in there doesn't mean we can't do it. So let's go. We're looking for C here. So we want to get C all by himself. So how do, well, I got a B multiplied by me. So... Well, this is easy, isn't it? B times C. Then just divide both sides by B, right? Then the B's will cancel out, leaving me with C all by himself. So C is equal to A over B. That's it. That's all there is to this, okay? Don't be intimidated just because it's full of a bunch of letters. That's okay. Let's look at this one. Solve for E. We want E all by himself. So how do we get rid, you know, first thing, let's get rid of this uh, fraction here. Let's multiply both sides by F, okay? And what happens? Those two F's cancel out, because remember F is like F over one, right? So that leaves me with two E. Oh, you wrote your E different. Let's write it the same way. E is equal to G times F, girlfriend, okay? Now I want E all by himself, so what? Same as over here. Then just divide by the two, right? Divided by two, divided by two. The twos cancel out, and I'm left with E is equal to girlfriend divided by two. That's the answer, okay? Piece of cake, right? Let's see if we can do this one. Push pause and see if you can do this one with me. Ready to go, you do it first. Okay, are you back? Ready? Let's see if I got the same answer you did. Here we go. I'm solving for M. There's M right there. Ooh, there's squared stuff in here. Not to be worried. Okay, first let's get the P to the other side over there, right? So 3M N squared is equal to what? P minus Q. No. <laughs> no. How about Q? plus P, right? If I'm negative on this side, when he goes to that side, he becomes a plus, okay? Okay, let's get rid of this other stuff. I want M by himself. So let's divide this side by what? How about 3N squared, okay? Then divide that side by 3N squared. And what does that do? The threes cancel out, the Ns cancel out, and then what's left? Just M, right? M is equal to Q plus P divided by 3N squared. That's it. Did you get it? All right. We're doing good, aren't we? We got one more over here. Do it again, right? Push pause, see if you can solve for U. Now, this one's going to be a little bit trickier. Going to have to multiply by the reciprocal. Okay? Push pause. Are you back? All right, let's see if I get the same thing you did. Here we go. Looking for that guy for you. I want to solve for that guy. So, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna make him positive. I'm gonna move this to the other side, right? And so five halves u plus v is equal to st, right? He's negative on that side. When I move him to the other side, it becomes positive, right? Okay. Now I'm gonna get rid of the v. Let's get him. Let's put him over there. So five halves u is equal to st minus v, okay? 
Now I gotta get rid of this fraction here. How do you get rid of a fraction? Multiply by the reciprocal, right? So times um, two over five, and then I'm gonna have to, these parentheses right here are very important, right? Times two over five. Because I have to multiply the whole other side times two over five. Not just this guy or not just that guy, but the whole thing, okay? So the twos cancel out, the fives cancel out. I'm left with u is equal to, okay, what do we do here? There's a couple ways you can write this. You can distribute this by going multiplying this times this guy and that guy. Or you can multiply just the top number. Because remember, this whole thing is over 1, isn't it? Okay? So the whole top gets multiplied by 2. Achoo! And the bottom gets multiplied by 1. So let's do that. So you get this. 2st minus 2v, right? Divided by 5 times 1, just 5. Or you could have left it like this, either. This, this is what we call the factored form, is when you did this. 2 times st minus v divided by 5. Okay? Either one of those would work. They're both exactly the same. So whether you wrote it in that form or that form, you got it correct. If they ask you to uh, write it in the factored form, then that, that's factored. Factoring means I've taken a 2 out of that guy and a 2 out of that guy and brought him out front. Okay, that's factored. Okay, you got it? Did you get it? All right. You know what? I think we're ready for some word problems. Hang on.